GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems. These systems analyze data, find patterns, and assess trends in order to answer questions and make decisions. But you may be wondering, how does it do all of this? Well, let's start with geographic information. Geographic information includes spatial and attribute information. The spatial information tells us where something is, and the attribute information tells us what something is. We can use spatial information from a GIS to see that Lake Erie is located northwest of Pennsylvania, east of Michigan, and north of Ohio. This is the relative location of Lake Erie. A GIS also provides the precise location on the Earth using the latitude and longitude. Lake Erie has many latitude and longitude points to create the rim of the lake, but if I were to drop one point in the center of the lake, it would have the following latitude and longitude. We can also use the attribute information to learn additional information like the fact that Lake Erie is 10,008.9 square miles and allows boating as a recreational activity. These are some of the basic functionalities of a GIS. However, it can do so much more. Analyzing the geographic information can help us answer other questions, such as what's on top of what and what's next to what. For example, this is a map of contaminated groundwater in the state of Oregon. We can use a GIS to overlay this information with Oregon streams to determine potentially contaminated streams and drinking water. We can add additional information, such as schools, to determine if there are any schools within a one-mile radius of the contaminated streams. This information helps us answer what is next to what and will also help us make decisions concerning the school's water quality. Another question answered by a GIS is what's connected to what. For example, This map is using a GIS to show the connection between streets and metro lines in Paris, France. If you take a closer look, you can see that the metro lines and streets are connected with transfer and metro stations. This, along with other examples, are just a few questions that a GIS can answer. Recently, GIS have extended their functionality in order to share this geographic information with others. Maps, data, and analysis models can be shared over the web or packaged up and sent to others. This is a map that is being shared to the public over the web. Other options include sharing the map on this site with specific groups, sending a URL to the map, or embedding the map in a website or web application. So, what is GIS in a nutshell? Well, it is a system that uses geographic information to answer questions and help make decisions, 